In this video, I'm going to show you how to add figures, figure labels and table labels to your document so that you can create a list of figures or a list of tables for your document. Now, in the previous video, we formulated our entire thesis, dissertation, um, research report according using multi-level lists. And now we're going to continue that and just insert figure labels, figure captions in between. So let's say in chapter one, we would like to have a figure right here. Um, it will be figure one. Let's say there's a, this is a picture of somebody doing a push-up for strengthening purposes. So here we go to references, we say insert caption, and we want to insert a figure. And let's call it the push up. And there we go. Now this is automatically inserted, but we don't want it in this font. We would like to have it not italized. We want it size 12. And we want it. Hmm, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Okay, remember figure labels come at the bottom of the picture or the figure and maybe we want it black we want it black yes find the style here the caption and say update the caption to match selection so whichever figure you're now going to insert it's going to use this format let's add another picture under the inclusion uh, let's say there's a graph that we're adding here let's say this is a graph and we want to add a figure label at the bottom again references insert caption figure 4.1 because it uses the chapter number i just want to make sure that it puts it at the right position Caption figure 4.1. Let's say this is Kenyan graphics. Perfect. Nice formatting, fine. All fine. Same with the tables. Let's say we want to insert a table under the ins in inclusion criteria. The table is sitting here. So, table headings on top of the table. So this is above the table and you again references insert caption but now you want to insert a table perfect it's in chapter 3 so it automatically numbers it as 3.1 and there you go let's we can type in the label of the table afterwards that's no problem say so there we go let's insert another table maybe a list of the anthropometrics characteristics let's pretend that this is the table table headings on top insert caption this is in chapter four and there we go let's call it anthropometrics look at this spelling mistake now the same you can do exactly the same with your appendices so let's have your list of appendices here at the bottom, let's say this is um, Appendix A is the information sheet, Appendix B is the consent form, and let's add here again insert caption, and you need to then choose Appendix A, but I created this Appendix A, so to get this Appendix A in your drop down list, you need to go to New Label and write there <coughs> Appendix. Appendix and then say okay. I've already done that, so I say I'll cancel and I can just choose Appendix A. But make sure that you fix the I can just choose Appendix, sorry. But make sure that you fix the numbering because otherwise it's going to number it one, two, three, four. Make sure you click ABC to number your appendices. If you prefer to number it as Appendix 1, 2, 3, that's perfectly fine as well. I mean, you can choose any of these options. I just 
prefer appendix A, B, C. So appendix, it immediately numbers it as appendix A, which is nice because now if you swap your appendices around, it will automatically update the numbering. Okay, and now we need to see, we were too quick with this word. That's perfect. Let's put it to the end. Here we have our appendix A. Let's insert caption here, appendix B, sent form. And then you go, can go on like that again. Maybe we want to make this bold. So make it bold. Go here, right click, update caption to match selection. Or if you want to really modify things in depth, you can go to modify and it will open the screen. Now again, easy to create your list of figures, list of tables, list of appendices. Let me show you how. There you go, and from here you can say list of appendix, appendix, figure, or table. And there you have your list. And just add your nice um, heading here, and you can do the same for figures and the same for appendices. Hope this helped, and enjoy. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.